Hey guys, girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel on this beautiful day. How you guys, girls, are doing? Oh my god, uh, today's a really short video, or this video is really short. I just made a video before this, which you hopefully watched. Uh, once we created the shaders, uh, I just want to show you guys something really important before we keep moving on to the next stuffs. So in main, you go down, you just we just uh, make that smaller here. There is one interesting thing that we can do, which we'll use later. So I'm just going to put that in here. I'm going to make the context current. And then we'll have to use some OpenGL functions, right? So OpenGL options. So let me just, once glue is initialized, before the shader initialization, just say OpenGL options. All right. So what we're, we want to enable, OpenGL is a state machine, right? So everything you enable in the background, it's going to be enabled. There's something always running in the background. So we want, before we render stuff, we want to enable some options. GL enable is the function you use to enable different types of uh, settings and stuff. So what we want to use is GL depth test. All right, we want to enable the GL depth test. And this makes it possible for us to use the Z coordinate and kind of move further away from the screen and stuff like that. And we want to use GL enable uh, uh, let me see what's it called uh, that call face uh, calling call face geo call face sorry we want to enable that and that means we won't don't want to draw what's behind or we want to call a face calling means that we remove it because it's not shown all right it's not going to be drawn or it's not going to be used we're going to remove something that is unnecessary. We want to enable it, the option. Now we want to tell OpenGL, okay, what uh, call face, what face do we want to call? So we want to call the back face, something that we're not seeing, the back side of the triangle. All right. And we want to say, well, what is the front and the back side of the triangle? All right. So GL uh, face, GL front face GL counterclockwise. So that means that if you have three points in your triangle, vectors are like this, no, like this, this, and this, that is CCW counterclockwise. All right. It's going like this. And that means our front face is going to be in the order, the side that, that the vertices are going counterclockwise. Now, if we flip that, if we flip the back side of this is going to be the other way around. All right. And that will be known as the back face because that is clockwise. And then OpenGL will know, okay, this is the back face. This isn't the face we want to draw. So that's what we're saying right now. Now, another thing we want to enable right now at this moment is the GL. Um, what's it called? The GL polygon mode now this is really fun this is more for the fun of it uh, it's not really important uh, what do you want to say is that the polygon mode a polygon is basically a set of trying or a set of points making a polygon uh, a, a primitive that you can make objects with so a triangle is a polygon a square might be a polygon whatever but we're gonna say that the front and back of this polygon will be drawn with GL fill. Now this is what it's by default. We'll fill the shape with a color. If you want it to be just the outline, you'll say GL line or GL lines. It's one of those. You'll have to test that out. I think it's line. But then you can draw the outlines of the whole thing. All right. So that's kind of cool to play around with. Uh, but we'll keep it at fill. All right now there are more options to to. Uh, play around with something else you want to enable later will be GL enable GL blend all right the blend so you want to enable blending of colors this is really important and you want to enable some kind of a uh, you want to enable the settings for this blend as well and to do that you'll do GL blend funk now don't worry too much about this um, and the exact nature of this stuff GL SRC alpha SRC alpha GL 
one minus src alpha. And don't worry again about this. Don't care about this right now. You don't have to care. Just remember that we're enabling a blend function. All right. Uh, and we're enabling def testing, how far away the fragment is, a pixel is, and the tall face back counterclockwise is a front face, and the polygon mode, which is fill. So these are some OpenGL options we're testing. Let me just run this. It won't really matter right now, I think. Nope, it didn't matter. Now, one more thing I want to show you guys and girls is actually something really important. I want to make a update input function. All right, so void update input, just a really simple input here. If glfw, glfw get key from our window. Now we might need a glfw window pointer window. And this window glfw escape key escape equals glfw press so if the escape key is pressed what's gonna happen well we're gonna do glfw set window should close this window and glfw true boom so this is a very simple update input function and we're gonna put this above the draw update here we go. So GLFW, no, uh, update input. And we're going to send in the window in here. Now what's going to happen? Once we press escape, we're going to close the whole program down. Easy peasy, right? So it's a really, really short um, intro to input. Now you can do other keys here and do other stuff. And it should be fine as long as you send in the window. So that's good. All right. Guys and girls, that was a really short video explaining a little bit about the options, behind the scenes options you can set, and the input. This is good before we start off our next uh, part, which is going to be actually sending in the data into the shaders and the graphics card and, and just using that to draw something out to the screen. So, yeah, keep reading, keep learning, best of luck, and I'll see you guys and girls in the next video. All right, bye bye.